Now here's a game for the more artistically minded among us, of which I absolutely am not. This is not so much a game, it's actually a released prototype called Painter, and the developer of this was Jonathan Blow, probably best well known, well, definitely best well known as the uh, developer and designer of Braid. I actually came across this on his website while looking for other stuff that he'd done. Uh, this is kind of like a glorified paint application, but I mean that in the, in the best way possible. The central concept of the game, later on, is that you, uh, you're given a job recreating famous works of art on, on this platform right here. Uh, and the better you do, the more money you get. And the more money you get, the better jobs you can get, and so on and so forth. But before we can get into that, first we have to make our own portfolio. And this requires making at least two paintings. And you might be noticing right now that uh, I am not the best when it comes to, uh, well, really anything artistic. But, you know, I'm doing my best here. The problem with me is that I always lose patience, so I've got a relatively okay Mario here, then I just draw a dick, and he's getting his face come down, turn his frown, and smile into a frown. Anyway, so now I've got two paintings, I can go talk to Luigi, and Luigi tells us, basically, he'll give us a job, his clients are people who are sad that they can't own original great works of art, so we've got to recreate ones, and the best recreations get the most money, of course. So the first painting that we're going to do here is, um, admittedly, since I'm an uneducated plebe, I have no idea what the name of it is, but I'm sure someone will, someone with more of a, a comprehensive art history background can chime in and, and let me know what I'm missing here. So, of course, I'll speed everything up here because, you know, this is an art attack. I'm not giving you a step-by-step, -step, uh, I shouldn't say art attack, this isn't like Bob Ross. I'm not giving you a step-by-step -step as to how to make these paintings. Uh, more over, more, more correctly, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm showing it off for humor's sake because um, my art skills are so bad. But the game is, in itself is not just meant to be a funny game. It's actually kind of relaxing to play, i got to say. Um, it's uh, Later on in the game, it's actually pretty cool because you get to meet more critics and, and take on more jobs. But you might have more than one critic on each painting that you do, and each one has different sensibilities. So you've got to um, you know try to please as many of them as possible with one painting, which is, is pretty neat. Uh, of course, I never really got that far because... I'm not very good at painting, but uh, still, I had a lot of fun with this, and I'd recommend it. Uh, it's cool that Jonathan Blow has some, done some some different stuff. I mean, this is about as far away from Braid as you could get. Um, one thing I should say is that, it, like I said, it gives you more money based on uh, whether your painting is good or total dog shit. I'm not sure how the game determines what's good and what's terrible, but it seems to do a pretty good job. Like, if I just drew... Uh, you know, a, a big veiny cock on the screen right now. He'd be like, this is a piece of shit. Here's zero dollars. But, you know, if, uh, if I put some time in and do a relatively decent job, which, you know, I think this is actually okay right now, uh, then, then he gives me more money. And again, the more money, you need money to progress, to get better and better jobs. So it's actually important to, uh, to do as well as you can on these. If you're into that sort of thing. If you kind of get off on the idea of just selling big veiny cocks to, um, Art fans, and that might be more more your style. So I'm done this painting now, and I'm gonna end the video. But uh, you know, notice how much money I get for this because it's a, it's a pretty decent job. I'll put the link in the video description. You guys can check it out. See, four hundred dollars, not too bad. Next, he wants me to paint Starry Night. That's not happening. 